Hi, my friends and family. I'm Trey, and today I'm talking about letting go of victim scripts and division and thinking with your heart and gut and how this relates to slavery, slavery consciousness. Are we not the sons of slaves? I said, you know we are. I said, yes, we are. Are we not the children? That gave it up to risk it all Because we're sick and tired of being zombies Controlled by our books Are we not the sons of slaves? Financial wage slaves And child tell slaves And all kinds of folks Forced to be dying for a mortgage are we not the sons of wage slaves and they surround us and I can't convince them of a better way because they signed the contract to give everything. Letting go of victim scripts and division and thinking with your heart and gut. So, what does obedience to victim scripts do to the human body, the physiology? Well, say if you had cancer and they tell you you have six months to live. Say you have a mental illness and they say, or a physical illness, and they say you should take this $1,200 every month the rest of your life. You're a victim. Now, you might kick back and be happy to have that free money you thought, but now you're getting paid to have an identity as a victim. This could be very harmful. So people who get welfare and do things to help others, or do things to try to help or heal their physical or mental condition, that's one thing. Those, particularly those who scam the system who had nothing at all wrong with them, who just took the money um, gradually, you know, usually die of this victimhood um, because the victimhood can destroy the person in any, regardless of the source of the, you know, as long as you believe it. Right. So what does the obedience to the victim script do to the human body? Much harm, usually. OK, the idea of service as a foundation to human life and self-possession as a psychological foundation of the inverted dark society is key. OK, to know that to serve others is the natural. It's in the law of one. It's the natural way of the original divine human race. This is a key to how to seeing how this deception has been pulled um, because they want to feed off all of us, right? So the key, the, the key uh, that horrible abuse, that horrible abuse your ancestors suffered, that police harassment and childhood sexual abuse, for example, or a soldier's PTSD, a mental deficiency, a physical dis physical disease. These are who you are. This is what the devil wants you to think. These are who you are. So that you get stuck in permanent suffering. So that you think permanent suffering is the core of your identity. This is very, very unhealthy for a human. A spirit in a human. Uh, I mean, compare that to David Standall Rolf, as I mentioned, who, who was born again in the middle of the... World War II stuff blowing up around in World War II. Permanent suffering is the core of, of your identity. Bullshit. Yes, existence is suffering. Igno ignorant beings suffer incessantly. Or wild animals who don't know better. The truly wise or Gnostic will remember, or a good Buddhist will remember to let go of victimhood scripts. It's very essential for self-respect, discernment, and healing. It can be challenging, very challenging at first, to let go of the old stories you told yourself uh, or agreed to for so long, this whole lifetime, even multiple lifetimes. But if you can, mental freedom can become a real possibility, but not with the victim script, no matter where you're at, no matter how, how ill or well you are or what race or financial um, category you put yourself in. Um, thinking with your heart, 
first, you must learn to clear the zeta seals or the dogma or the control of these negative uh, interdimensional parasites, or you ain't ever going to get out of the victim mentality, um, the victim distortions. Black people will often have a lot of heart. I mean, because this is the original nature. The original humans were very loving. And we, we often must relearn the heart-brain attunement, as I said in previous transmissions, to, to use either properly, man. No matter what your race is, you know. If you believe these victim scripts, for example, it can just fuck up your connection to someone who's not in your race or not in your same victimhood, right? So you don't have the participation mystique with, right? So properly the gut voice um, when you when you learn how to use it the gut voice nudges trump the brain um, when you trust yourself more okay your your intuitive mind um, and your heart mind as i've said in previous shows they found um, actual nerve cells or brain cells in your heart and your, your gut if you know how to tune it in um, when you trust yourself more, you, you can learn how to properly run the human function where these, your brain doesn't override that, your real brain, which is in your heart. When you trust yourself more, you fully see and feel the human brain and mind as a receiver and a pattern maker. Thus, you can become free of the false narratives, especially the ones these, you know, the big boys give you, the victim, the selfish or... This ego dog eat dog program, you know, this guy's telling me about somebody would punch me out in Oakland for saying that, but uh, I'm thinking, well, the way that you'd have to survive in Oakland is is the, it's artificial to begin with to, to have to do all the horrible things they make average or poor, especially black people, you know, the things they try to get you to do to survive the daily hand to mouth victimhood programming um, can can really um, you know. Just keep these problems going, you know. Like an, like an African American, I am constantly asked because of my problems to feel bitter and sorry for myself because of perceived deficiencies. As channeling, as challenging and downright hard as this shadow work is, it is essential or there will never be peace. Um... It's funny, the tale, tales of, uh, mentioned the two Thomases. Thomas Jefferson, he destroyed slavery in what I would say the most organic way, although he perpetuated it by having slaves. He was a hypocrite and a brilliant um, leader in that he spoke out against it. He, he preached against it in sermons, but then he, but he had five children by a slave. And um, my acquaintance Thomas in, of Santa Cruz, he looks like a black man, but his mom's a blonde-headed hippie, and I've never seen him behave like a bitter, like a man who was angry because his grand great grandfather was a slave ever. Um, he just doesn't have that in his personality, interestingly, as far as I can tell. So we will be psychologically played by our perceptions of racism, um, the slight of it, and loose loose feeding drama, all to feed our racist slave masters, ironically who believe all original divine humans of all colors, unless they're the preferred reptilian hybrids, to be their weak, deficient slaves. The aboriginals, the Africans, the Celtics, all are considered weak because of the powers of their heart, because they still have connection to their heart. When you realize Hollywood, Big Tech, BLM, are extremely racist and classist, maybe you'll stop being a pawn in their attempted race war in the 2020s. In reality, every happy three-year-old knows we are all truly one with each other and the earth, like it or not. So please remove these obstacles to see that if you got the courage. Um, Maladoma Somme's relationship with his deceased ancestors versus the BLM narrative. To take this to another level, Maladoma Somme is an African from a small country called Dagar in Africa, a shaman who got three PhDs from um, American universities, three different universities, white universities. And his name means speaks to the enemy. And he, he came to the U.S. and did some tours. And um, 
he has a proper African relationship with his ancestors, which is reverence and respect <clears throat> for their suffering, not victimhood because of their su suffering. But as a shaman, he could teach you how to have a more healthy relationship with it. How about the Blue Ridge, <clears throat> the Jamaican Blue Blue Mountain Rastafarians relationship with their ancestors versus, say, some famous Jamaican uh, singer or a, a Black Lives Matters narrative believer. Well, the Blue Ridge Mountain Rastafarian came to that land. Their ancestors were slaves, but they took back the power, the sovereignty. They took back their freedom. Or another one to a deeper level, Credo Mutwa was a shaman in Africa who was abducted by aliens who, and openly discussed it with everyone, made sculptures of them. He took this to a whole nother level. His relationship to the ancestors was even deeper. So as I've said before, remember, groupthink is mind flunk. Confusion is often due, in this case, to, due to the original goodness of African people and their human nature of service. And the big human communities were natural to them. So they brought in poverty, which are often, poverty is often forced. And remember, the word uh, semantic and Semitic are very closely related. Um, Jew the Jewish call themselves the people of the word. <clears throat> the Khazarian Mafia, or the Synagogue of Satan, who created Hollywood, are not true Jews. They are, e in my opinion, they are East European Russians. Um, and Kanye West broke the cardinal rule of show business run by these people, which is never mention your invisible ruling class, the Synagogue of Satan. Um, <clears throat> for example, the word nigger, half-breed, those are words, but they're heavy triggers if a white person says them, right? Kanye lost a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar contract with Adidas because he simply, um, he was simply a musical, he, he made millions of dollars, he made billions of dollars as a musical poet and a word artist at this level, but he was not allowed to disclose the synagogue of Satan. The mistake he made, as I said, is that he, he said it was Jews and not um, the synagogue of Satan. Um, RFK, Robert F. Kennedy said, we're going to have to do something to deal <clears throat> with this problem of organized crime in his campaign speech after the Chicago Mafia had supposedly put a lot of money into that campaign. So in a way, Kanye and RFK were both um, biting the hand that fed them uh, literally f um, through spreading the truth about th their evils. Um, focusing on differences between us. And this is the key about this whole um, racial war, or modern racial war. Focusing on differences between us. As much as it, it would suck to be, uh, you know, to be harassed by the cops just because you're black. Focusing on differences between us is a superficial thing am amongst us based on skin color or classism. Um, this is what they want us to do as a distraction from the real war over planetary human freedom and this creating the human 2.0 cyborg slave for the elite. This is what we really um, need to fight or get, you know, focus the light of awareness on. So, so George Soros comes in uh, the year 2020 and um, supposedly the, there's a lot of evidence that he's done this. Not only is uh, putting drones to start fire, paying people to use drones to start fires, um, Paying the Antifas to go, and Black Lives Matters people, I think, or maybe just Antifas, to go to poor sections of select cities that had Democratic mayors, including Charleston, South Carolina, where I was born. I watched a video several months later after the CZU fires, when I had to escape this the, the air pollution here, and I went back to my brother's house, and I watched a video of um, you know these young African-American guy. Well, not that it matters, but there was police officers watching them break the window and take shoes. Out. They, they bought shoes. I mean, they wanted shoes. They're poor. And um, But the guy, record his friend recorded him doing it with the cell phone, and they couldn't imagine why they were, you know. So George Soros pays to destroy the, the black heterosexual family through this ideation and to pay to destroy a bunch of cities to try to take over the economy, you know, it's all known facts. So let go of the victim scripts and division 
because it's not who we you really are. And thinking with your heart and gut is, is also the key to doing this. If you enjoyed this comment, click on the subscribe and the notification bell for more and create a peaceful, respectful, oneness-aware day if you got the courage, my family.